So welcome everyone to Coffee with God and Reverend Lorraine and friends. Today we have a special treat. We have a good friend of mine, Sister Natalie, to join us today. Hello, Sister Natalie. Hi, Rev, and hi everyone. Thanks for joining us. Amen. I'm very glad that you agreed to do this Coffee with God episode with me. And what the people out there don't know is about our conversation this morning. Mm -hmm. So this morning I called Sister Natalie um, because I was discouraged and uh, we had a nice long chat and uh, it really helped. And um, so is the topic of our um, Coffee with God today uh, is... Um, is about discouragement or encouragement, whichever way you want to look at it. Many of us Christians, how we, when we have moments of discouragement, we'll go through shame mm -hmm. because I'm a Christian. I shouldn't be discouraged. Mm -hmm. And then we want to hide. So then when in our walk, we've learned to deal with shame and uh, when we recognize it, we renounce it because what Jesus did on the cross, it is finished. He said, that's there right. should not mm -hmm. be any shame, right? And anyways, that's, that's what I do. When I see I have shame, I stop it. And I say, okay, Christ, you took care of this. What's up? So after the shame, I realized I'm discouraged and I don't know what to do about it. And so I reached out to a friend, a friend that I know loves God and would not steer me away you know kind of thing often we think we're not supposed to be discouraged ever and living with an expectation like that brings shame and despair maybe even at least discouragement you know more so yeah, yeah. It, it helps to have someone you can talk to um, we all feel discouraged at times. The fact is, is that things just don't always work out the way we want them to, or we were hoping it would. Um, and so those feelings of discouragement um, set in. Um, so it is important to have someone that you can call, and I was glad that you called me, um, because sometimes we just need to uh, say it, uh, voice what's, what we're feeling, um, and then we need to have someone who in our corner who can tell us, okay, what you're, you know, who can, who can empathize with us, yes. um, but who can also encourage us yes. um, and pray with us. Right. And sometimes that's where, not sometimes that's where our healing lies a lot of the times. Right. Mm -hmm. um, it's sometimes hard to do it on your own. There are other times when, like, I know for myself, like um, if I've gone through a difficult situation, um, or something just did not work out the way I wanted it to work out. And I find myself in a place of discouragement. Sometimes I can encourage myself. Okay. Um, but it depends on what it is. Like it depends on the severity of the source of whatever is causing that discouragement. So, you know, sometimes I just have to tell myself like, it's okay, Natalie, you made a mistake. Mistakes yeah. happen. Oh. Rush yourself up, get yeah. back up again, try again. Um, but then there are other times where it's just like, no, I really need someone to talk to right now. I, yeah. I don't have the strength to encourage myself. And this is where a good friend comes in. I like what you just said, because we're not supposed to call someone every single moment we're discouraged yeah. because life throws those wrenches, doesn't it? Right. Yeah. Or yeah. how people say it throws those lemons and you're supposed to make lemonade. And sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you can, I know. Uh, but there are yeah. those times when you just, you don't snap out of it. You don't. And, and yes, then, then we call a friend. Um, you know, one of the things I liked about our conversation is not once did you go, Oh, he did that. Or she did that. Or not once did you, you, make me justified in anger you stayed calm during the conversation and um attentive you asked questions that showed me you were invested in the conversation and um and i was really i was encouraged um through that so you want to do you have a process you follow when you're encouraging someone i always believe that um you know, sometimes it's just a matter of support. Sometimes a person is going through something, like I'm thinking about myself. Sometimes I'm going through something and I don't necessarily want advice. I just want someone to listen. 
And there's other times where I might seek out help because I actually want some advice. And most times I turn to my husband first. <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, I think that, uh, but sometimes it's things where it's just like, okay, I'm going to reach out to a friend, <laughs> depending on what it is, right? Yeah, sometimes um, you need but, a female friend, right? Exactly, like, yeah. exactly. And, you know, it, I, I can't really say that there's a process as much as it is you listen. Hear what the person is saying. Mm -hmm. um, don't be quick to judge um, and recognize that sometimes people make mistakes. And I believe that any situation can turn around and any situation can change. Mm -hmm. um, so I like to take that approach that, okay, so we're here now, now what do we do? Let's deal with how you're feeling. Let's, so what can we do to try and address whatever it is that's causing the discouragement? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, you did exactly that. I can attest <laughs> to that. <laughs> um, sometimes uh, I've experienced also the opposite of what happened between you and I. Uh, sometimes I've gone to someone um, when I was discouraged or battling with something, and all the person did was reiterate to me the mistake I did and made sure that I understand why I was wrong in what I did when I was coming to them fully knowing I did wrong, but not knowing how to process my emotions about that. Right. So I think it, I think, um, I know that I probably have been guilty of that a little bit before in the past, because it's kind of like, you don't, sometimes you don't know what to do with what someone tells you. Okay. And so, you know, and so sometimes we turn to those type of, uh, ways of, uh, like in our own way, it's we're trying to comfort the person by correcting them instead of trying to just listen and hear them out. Um, and so it happens sometimes, but then it's also good to know then maybe this is not the best person to go to when you're facing a time of discouragement and what you need is encouragement. Yes. Yes. And sometimes we have to go through that and learn that, right? Yeah. We learn oh. the hard way sometimes. Yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> Um, yeah. And also I like what you said about sometimes when, when you're going to someone, sometimes you, you just need like a sounding board. You just need somebody to listen. And the other times you need somebody to show you how to deal with it or give you ideas. Um, it's in my experience that it is better. There's a better result in the conversation. If we're upfront, when we speak with the person and we say, listen, I need to just tell you how I feel. I'm not looking to be fixed. I just need to voice my feelings or I'm looking for advice. This is what I'm going through. Right. So the person knows why or what they're listening for. I think that's so important because you don't want to end up in a worse situation than you're already in. So at least when you call someone, make it clear what it is that you're hoping will come as a result of this conversation. Like right now, and be honest right now, I just need to talk to you right now. Um, I'm going through a tough time and I've got to get this off my heart. Yeah. Um, in our conversation is when I started feeling some weights lifted up and encouragement coming and, and what you brought to the table was like a sense of validating what I was feeling without making me feel justified in going in pity or anything like that. So is not like we don't want to see our friends in that place no right and so i don't want to ever like even when we were talking this morning i'm thinking i don't want you to find yourself in a place where um you feel worse off than you did before you called yeah. um but i also don't want you to uh wallow in your sorrows if i can say that yeah um i i felt like this was something that you know you were already on the right track with mm -hmm. it um, and so, you know, I just wanted to come along and support sometimes, you know, when you're going through a tough time, like it's the time of day where it's like, you just would not feel comfortable to call someone. Mm. Um, and one of the things I find helpful, um, like if I'm having a down moment sometimes is just to put on some praise music, yes. um, and just allow the music you know, and the words and the Holy Spirit to, to heal and to speak to our hearts about what it is that we're going through. I find it very soothing, very helpful. Yeah. Um, and so in those moments where you just don't have time to reach out to someone, mm -hmm. um, turn on some worship music, um, especially if you're not in a place where it's like, 
you know, I would also suggest reading your Bible, but sometimes we kind of feel like, especially if it's late at night, um, you know, you may find that just some worship music would also be very helpful as well. True. And I'm glad you mentioned that because I assumed the, that the people do that before they reach out for help. <laughs> you know, the prayer, the worship, the, the reading the word, um, spending a long time with God. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, well, let's pray. Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you, oh God, that we could come together and we could share about discouragement, Lord. Father, I believe that even during these times that we're going through, Lord, that many of your people are discouraged. But God, I thank you, oh Lord, that most times help is just a prayer away, a phone call away, or a song away. And I pray, God, that your people would learn to turn to you and to others who will encourage them with your word um, when they're feeling this way, oh God, so they don't stay in this place, in this position. Mm -hmm. May they also know that it is okay sometimes to cry. It is okay to express your emotions and to let your emotions out. But I pray God that they would seek help, Lord, when the discouragement lingers and continues. So I thank you, God, for your word, Lord. I know, God, that you have a desire that all of us will be whole, oh God, and at peace. And I just pray, God, that we would learn to find encouragement in your word um, and realize, God, that when we put our hope in you, oh God, that in our God and in our Savior, Lord, that you will always come through for us. So I thank you, God, for this time that we've shared together. And I know, Lord, that you're at work in the lives of your people. And I just pray, God, you continue to do that. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. That was wonderful. Thank you. Now, I know when we talked about doing this uh, Coffee with God episode, we were, yes, we were talking about a salute. So <laughs> here's our Great. salute. So thank you for joining us for Coffee with God and Reverend Lorraine and friends. And we hope that uh, this will have blessed you. And again, I, I thank you so much for being with us. Look at our pastor. Oh, so you guys have hijacked <laughs> my space. We have. So what, what, are we, what are we talking? Do I... Do I need some coffee to be able to partake in this? You can share some of my tea, but we would love I've, to. I've, <laughs> I've, 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 got, I've, got, I've got coffee over here. We're talking about discouragement. Oh, and it's my, it's my, godfather, God, my godfather cup. So, you know, <laughs> oh. shout, shout out to my god kids. We're talking about discouragement. Yes. Yeah. So I just prayed, but I know that people would love to hear from you as well. Yeah, for sure. Uh, hi, people. Hi, people. <laughs> you said it was discouragement, the topic. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, well, that, that's, that's a big one. Yeah. And a lot of people are, are feeling a sense of that yeah. um, in this season in particular. Mm -hmm. But we want to constantly remind people that the scripture says, God, in Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, plans for a hope mm -hmm. and a future. And um, that tells me that God has a plan for me to have a tomorrow. And if my tomorrow is coming from God, then it's certainly going to be a good tomorrow. Mm. So that, that's encouraging. So you may feel discouraged today and that's, that's normal, mm -hmm. but, but trust God, look to God, um, call out to him. He may not feel like it, but even, even if it's just a whisper, even if it's just writing the prayer, even if it's just tears, mm -hmm. there's a passage, of, there's one of the Psalms that says the Lord literally takes, uh, keeps all of our tears in yeah. a bottle. Yeah. Mm. So he's, he, he's very, very deeply concerned for us. Yeah. Amen. Every right. detail well, of our life. Um, hmm? He's concerned in every detail of our life. Every aspect of our yep. life. Yep. All right. Well, as you know, I am, I am the pastor who is a little bit um, borderline um, crazy, you know, <laughs> in a great way. In a great, so fantastic way. I was way. in the sanctuary. Hmm? In a fantastic way. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the sanctuary. I figured, yeah, let me just kind of. Well, I've been watching videos where the person is recording. I'm watching the news and there's like a kid or somebody running <laughs> at the back. Yeah. So I thought it was going to be mischievous and just kind of like walk at the back. But then I figured. <laughs> We're glad you joined. All right, guys. Yeah, we are. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy your tea and your coffee. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Well, you've heard from our pastor. Thank you, pastor, for those scriptures. And well, again, we're going to salute our sign off of Coffee with God and Reverend Lorraine and friends. Thank you very much. God bless Take care, you, everyone. God bless. <laughs>